Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This morning, we're doing a little vlogging in the Sherpa coat because it's 39 degrees, baby. And anything below 60 in Texas calls for the Sherpa coat. So, welcome, glad you're here. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna stick around, I'd love to have you. Let's jump into the vlog. So, this morning, it's Tuesday. I got an espresso, you guys. I'm posting a reel, like a day in the life reel, so I'll um, post like the real footage right here of me making this. I got an espresso, and this is a double espresso pod with the cake batter flavor of Premier Protein. Premier Protein, not my favorite. I totally wish Quest, which doesn't have carrageenan, would come out with more flavors. Quest, where you at? I mean, come on, for real. Chocolate, vanilla, and caramel, ain't cutting it for this girl okay so premier protein is all over the flavors and they're truly winning in marketing it works for me i have to try every new flavor except for the mint not into that with coffee but this is delicious it is better than starbucks life is made we are no longer on the hunt for the perfect iced coffee because y'all girl got an espresso for christmas mm. so blessed thank you mom and dad always blessed by you appreciate you so much. So something I've been watching this morning, and I've actually been watching the full series, but I watched the newest video today. Um, I think it's the newest video. Is the Abby Sharp, which she's a registered dietitian here on YouTube. She has really great videos, and she basically reviews really either famous people or famous YouTubers or TikTokers what eat in a days. Um, and she talks about how they can improve or if they're sending a dangerous message, she calls them out on it. Um, I love her content. I personally find it really helpful. I feel like I learn a lot. She always links all of her research that she talks about. Any claim that she makes, she has links for it. Um, I very much appreciate her content. She has started a series which is following and commenting on the series that Jaclyn Hill is making. If you don't know who Jaclyn Hill is, she's like one of the biggest makeup gurus on YouTube that has ever existed. Um, she's like the OG beauty guru on YouTube, if you will. One of the OGs, I'll say. So anyways, Jaclyn Hill uh, is on a weight loss journey. She's always been very tiny. I um, haven't I didn't really watch the lead up to that, but I have been watching her weight loss journey and I do follow her on Instagram. So she had gained a little bit of weight and now she's on this weight loss journey, which she coined Jacqueline's journey. And I really enjoy it. I think that she's very real and raw and she's not afraid to put out exactly how she's feeling. And I think that's really important in posting your weight loss journey. It's not just showing all of your good days. Sometimes you have to show the bad days or the um, off the wagon, if you will, days, the days where your mind isn't right because anybody that's watching sh needs to know and looking for advice and inspiration needs to know that that's very normal. It's not every day is perfect, especially on a health journey. Um, it can be really hard, not only physically, but mentally. So I think although some of the stuff she's doing is a little extreme, Overall, I think that the con like her content is good because she's, I mean, speaking the truth. You know what I mean? And she's just showing her true journey, and that's it. That is what it is. So I appreciate that. But Abby's commentary on Jacqueline's videos is really great because not only do you get to see pieces of Jacqueline's videos and kind of where her headspace is day after day. She has great days. She has not so great days. Um, you also get to see Abby talk about her meals and say, this is what I would add, this is you know, a tip to keep this from happening, et cetera, et cetera, and I just find it interesting and it's really good. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it for you down below, the like playlist or whatever from Abby's channel. Um, and then Abby, I think, has Jacqueline linked. But it's pretty interesting and I've been into it. So for lunch, I tried this Amy's Organic Chili with vegetables. This is something I had at work just when I needed something in a pinch. It was my first time trying it. I did have some tortilla chips that we just had at the office. It was okay. I didn't hate it, but I probably wouldn't buy this one again. Just full disclaimer. All right, y'all, I'm home from work and I thought I would do a quick unboxing of my Imperfect Foods box because it got here today. Love that. 
If you saw my 2022 reset video, you know that I not only have health goals, but I have budgeting goals and I 100% would not do something like this, a food subscription, if it wasn't actually saving me money from shopping at the regular grocery store. And it is, especially just to cash in on the first four boxes, getting $20 off. I still, this is my third box and everything you're about to see cost me $71 and it's a lot. It's a lot more than I feel like what will get me $71 at the grocery store. I also have compared from what my grocery store has to Imperfect Foods, dollar for dollar, definitely less, even without the discount from Imperfect Foods. So just a thought, if you want to link down below, you can get the $80 off, which is $20 across your first four boxes. This cost me $71 with that $20 discount. So it was $91 and I got it for $71. So let me just show you what I got. I'll have it linked down below. Um, okay, fingerling potatoes. I love these. The color, these were a little bit less than they are at my grocery store. I have not been able to find them for less than like $4.50 lately. So super happy about those. Those are just a fun potato side and I like them the most as far as like the baby potato variety. I also got a spaghetti squash, which wasn't in my cart until I saw Mindy at See Mindy Mom post her Imperfect Foods haul. Um, from her recent uploads and she was saying, look at the baby squash. And I said, I want to order a squash and see if I get a baby squash. And I did look at the little baby squash. So that's perfect. I'm excited to make spaghetti squash with that. I also got their Roma tomatoes, which I pretty much pick up every time I've ordered so far. Got five. It's like, I don't know, a pound for a dollar or something like that. And I go through Roma tomatoes very quickly. So that worked out. I also got the pound. Oh, there's actually six Romas. I also got the pound of apples, which from here looks like three, um, a type of app, a type of apple I've never tried. It's called lady Alice apple. And they're a little bit tinier, which is perfect for me. Cause y'all don't really see me eat a lot of apples. A tiny apple is going to be perfection. Speaking of apples, <laughs> I got this apple crisp granola this is the imperfect foods brand specifically for um morgan because he has been on this yogurt kick so oh my gosh my nail i'm getting it down on thursday uh he's been on a yogurt kick and we thought it would be delicious with granola so i picked up him some of that also oh olive oil it's I've never seen olive oil do this. It's like congealed because it's so cold outside. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So we'll set this out on the counter and it will be fine. But I did get the virgin olive oil by Imperfect Foods. It was a really good price. Um, so there's that. I picked up the oat milk and this is the barista standard dairy-free drink. I specifically they had two and I got the barista one because I'm just going to be using it in coffee anyways. I got an espresso. I told you all that already. Got an espresso and I thought that would be good with some of those drinks. Also got some multi-grain crackers just so we can have something crunchy with our meals or with our snacks this week. And then I have bought these in the past. Shameless Pets. Pretty good brand for pets and chews. And I did get these for Chance Dental Stick Dog Treats. The ridges help clean the teeth. So I picked up those for him. I didn't know they had dog stuff until today. So that's it, or until two days ago when I ordered. Also, we're loving this Atoria's brand. I guess they were out of the lavash because I also ordered that and I got a notification that it wasn't going to be in my order, which is fine. Um, but I did pick up the pitas and these are 130 calories per pita. We're gonna have some pita pizzas this week. Super pumped about that. I actually got like a lemon artichoke pesto, but they were out of that, unfortunately, as well. Um, and if they're out of it, they just don't charge you for it. They also have great customer service. So if you ever have an issue, you can send them an email and they'll fix it pretty quickly. Um, so we'll see if I have another sauce option. We definitely, I think, have sauce on hand anyways. But moving on, a cucumber, a really huge one that's a little bit, it said misshapen. So I mean... What's wrong with this cucumber? Literally nothing. I believe it's an English cucumber. Um, and then I also got some bell peppers. Oh, two cucumbers. I didn't know it was a two pack. Um, and then a two pack of bell peppers, another win. We always go through those pretty quickly. I love bell peppers. And then we got the shredded mozzarella cheese, another imperfect brand. 
Fourth cup is 80 calories, six grams of protein. Picked up some ground turkey. This is, I don't know the fat content of this one, but four ounces is 160 calories. Picked up that, it was like $5, which is pretty much the same at our store. Um, and I'm not going grocery shopping this weekend. These are all of the groceries. So we also picked up a sharp cheddar. Cheese and crackers would be a great snack. Ah, they did have the flatbread. Oh wait, this is a different one. Okay, also a little bit worried about this one because it says cauliflower and coconut. I hope it doesn't taste like that, but these are mini lavash breads. So you can see like this is the size of them. So tiny. But I thought those would be perfect for like a roll up or something. They're 80 calories a piece, six grams of protein. Also picked up this oat creamer in a cinnamon roll. I can never find the like cool flavored non-dairy ones. So I'm very excited to give that a go. Picked up, this was just like looked cool. So I decided to pick it up. It's the Pad Thai Stir Fry Kit. Create Thailand's iconic noodle dish in minutes. So it's noodles and a pad thai sauce. You'd add like protein and vegetables. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if Morgan loves noodles like that, but if he doesn't, I'll just do like a lunch prep with him. Morgan, do you wanna weigh in on the noodles? Asian pad thai noodles, and it comes with a sauce. So you would add, it's like Asian noodles. Yeah, I'm down for it. Okay, he's down for it, people. Perfect. Um, I picked up these again for Morgan because he loved them. The Sriracha Jalapeno Chicken Sausages. Yeah, those are fire. He loved them. Are they pretty spicy? Uh, not as spicy as like putting Sriracha on something, but it has a little kick to it. They have a little kick. Also picked up, I think we've gotten these several times now, the Spinach Feta Chicken Sausages. Obsessed with chicken sausage, you just can't go wrong. These are 160 calories per link and 13 grams of protein. We love those on flatbreads and pizzas. So we might put those on like the pita pizzas or something. We're huge, huge on the chicken sausage. Um, oh, I also got their hummus, which I'm excited about. Red pepper hummus, pumped for that one. Probably use that with the cucumbers. Thinking back, I probably should have got some carrots. Um, also ordered another package of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. So it comes um, frozen and this is great. You can just immediately throw it into the freezer and you're ready to go for a crock pot meal. And that is kind of what I'm saving that for. I think we're gonna do salsa chicken one day. I'm gonna use that. Um, and then again, this is our third time purchasing these, the creamy Gouda cheeses. These are so good. They're individually wrapped. They're 70 calories a piece, five grams of protein, better than any cheese stick, baby bell, anything that you've ever had. These are everything. So if you do get Imperfect Foods, highly, highly recommend these. They are on, I wanna say they're like five or $6. So as far as like Imperfect Foods prices, that's kind of high, but they're worth it, baby. You gotta try them. And then, yeah. Oh, I forgot about these, oh, I'm pumped. Okay. So I got two yogurts, a mixed berry, and they come in these little glass jars. And I just thought those were so fun. So I got this mixed berry. It's 130 calories, 14 grams of protein. Actually, they're both the same. So I got two of those for me and Morgan to try. And then the last thing, I've been avoiding this one because I'm to show it last. The last thing is I got this um, grain-free brownie mix. Not that I'm grain free, but that was the kind of brownie mix they had. So I decided to give it a go. Um, I'm pumped. So you add eggs, some sort of neutral oil and a teaspoon of vanilla, stir, spread, bake for 35 minutes. And that's all you do. So I just thought that would be a fun treat. Maybe we'll make them over the weekend. And that's everything I got for the week. Okay, y'all, we have to go drop off orders because they were in my car and I completely forgot because I went to Goodwill and I got distracted dropping stuff off at Goodwill, but I'm having a yogurt. This is a light and fit Dan and Greek blueberry, 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. Really trying to hit that protein goal today. So I'm gonna see where I'm at after this. And I think we've decided on pita pizzas for dinner. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to get that pre-tracked in the car. And we'll keep you updated on today's eats.
All right, I'll just pre-tract everything. I have room for a snack. I'm gonna have a very big dinner, which I'm pumped about. Um, and I'm going to have this red pepper hummus and cucumber. I also have a dessert planned for later. So you'll see that after we have dinner, but this is the after work snack after I have the yogurt. I also just cut up extra cucumber, cucumber, extra cucumber and diced it. One of this, uh, one of the like restaurant house salads that I love is when they do diced cucumber and diced tomato together um, in like a big house chef salad thing. So that's what I'm gonna do for lunch tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna cut the tomato later cause I'm gonna have some for dinner. So just cut that at the same time. And I'm also gonna air fry so I can hard boil an egg. So I'm gonna air fry an egg that'll be hard boiled. Add some chicken, pick a dressing for later, and I'll show you all the lunch that I'm gonna pack for tomorrow. Okay, so the air fryer is preheated at 270. I'm gonna throw these in, and we're gonna do um, 14 minutes. It's been 14 minutes, and I just put my eggs in an ice bath. Once they're cool, I'll just peel them, and I'll probably cut them open tomorrow whenever I eat them on my salad. There we go. Those are good cuts. Look at that, beautiful. That beautiful tomato footage. So we ended up baking our pizzas at I think 400 for like eight to 10 minutes and they were perfection. I actually ate like the equivalent of one and a half pitas because I gave Morgan one slice of each of mine so that he could try them. We loved them, they were super good and that, leave, that left me a little bit of room for dessert. Always a win. Here Morgan is chopping up some chicken and some diced tomato to add to my salad. I also ended up adding one of the Hard boiled eggs, some mozzarella cheese, that's the Imperfect Foods brand, the diced tomato with the diced cucumber, solid combo, let me know what your favorite veggie combo on salad is, have that sliced chicken, and then the salsa verde avocado ranch dressing, that's a mouthful, from Bolt House Farms is so delicious, very like taco salad inspired. So I went with that one and then washed some romaine, that's what I'm doing there in the background. <laughs> Put a paper towel so it doesn't get too soggy and we are ready for lunch. All right, y'all, this is the final product. I have my buffalo chicken one here with laughing cow cheese, chicken, buffalo sauce, um, tomato, and fat-free mozzarella. I don't, um, I would not eat fat-free mozzarella. It's not for a diet. It is for, it has one, high protein, which is great, and two, sometimes higher fat meals hurt my stomach because I don't have a gallbladder, so fat-free cheese has been working for me lately. Then we have the sausage and spinach one. This is a play on that sausage and feta one that we've been doing, but laughing cow, spinach, spinach feta sausage, um, fat-free mozzarella, and then basil and oregano on both, along with a little cavenders. We are ready to eat. I'm so excited. Wait, they, have to look at mine. they have to look at mine too. Morgan's? <laughs> Mine's just cheese, sausage, and tomatoes, so. It kind of looks like a hot dog. Yeah, I know it does, doesn't it? It looks like a hot dog. It's gonna be so good. Laughing cow cheese, sharp cheddar, jalapeno sriracha sausage, and one slice of tomato. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, y'all, it's the end of the night. I'm in bed. Morgan is staying up and gaming with the boys a little bit tonight. So I am finishing my YouTube video really quickly and I've got to go to sleep. But I wanted to finish this so I can get it up tomorrow, which is unheard of for me. Maybe we're turning over a, loop, a new leaf in 2022 as far as editing goes. But um, I hope you like today's What I Eat in a Day. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, I love doing these. Turned out to be a great day. I was a little bit hesitant. <laughs> about lunch I almost went out and picked up something but I'm on a no spend month for January so I couldn't go out and buy lunch um I might have to restock at the grocery store for some stuff I can eat at work for like days like today where I didn't have anything prepped I was supposed to bring that salad that I prepped today but didn't prep it so I couldn't bring it so I'm gonna bring it tomorrow um I also had my call with my registered dietitian feels amazing I had it right after work and I always just feel like reset for the week whenever we chat. So it went really well. My current goals, I'm staying at 1650 calories just because I haven't been very consistent with it. But she changed it to five days a week at 1650 and two days a week at 1800. And those days are up to me. Whenever I wanted to have the 1800 day, I can. Today I did a 1650 day and it went great. I'm super happy with everything. I think I ended just under 1650 and I'm at like 129 grams of protein, which is awesome. Super happy. Um, so that's one thing we changed. Another, is there anything else? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm going to start checking in with her at the end of every week. Um, via our like either texting or chat so that um, just like one more way to hold myself accountable but really I told her I was like my goal is to just get my ish together like I would have so many good days in a row and then I would not care for three days and then I would have a great five days and then I wouldn't care for two days and that back and forth throughout 2021 just didn't really get me anywhere um, which main you know maintenance is fine but I just want to get back and to know to where I know where, that I feel my best and that I know I love all my clothes on me type of feeling and I'm so close like 10 to 13 ish pounds depending on the day um so that is my goal for January specifically my goal is two pounds I weighed yesterday and then a couple days before that and I think I've lost the whoosh of like the water weight already so that's good Hopefully moving forward, staying super consistent with my tracking every single day in January, getting in my activity, drinking lots of water, getting in micronutrients, lots of vegetables will give me the results that I want and we'll see where we end up in January. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, also, let me know. I got a lot of great feedback in my 2022 reset video about budgeting. A lot of y'all are budgeting. So if you want more budgeting content, let me know. I'd love to share my budget with you and just what's working and my process and my journey and me learning because I'm not perfect at budgeting, obviously. Um, but I would love to share what I'm doing. So we can definitely talk about that. Let me know if you're on a no spend a month and let me know what y'all have been making on repeat lately pizzas, flatbread pizzas, pita pizzas has been a go-to for us. It's so easy. I can easily make them fit into my calories, easily get in protein. It's just a win-win all around. Morgan loves pizza anytime. So we've been loving that, but that is the update. Hutch is trying to get under the covers. Can you see him? Oh my God. <laughs> Not very successfully, I'll add. Um, but that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm literally going to upload this clip, upload it to YouTube and go to bed. So good night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.